Time now for Coaching with Carrie. Life Coach Carrie Gio Karras joins us now to help our kids and us navigate <laughs> through school anxiety, right, Carrie? Oh my God. Yes. We're both in it right now. We Melaine are. will be in it. Here in a I couple go, of years. Take notes. Here, I have them all written for you. <laughs> all right, but what are you? This is coming from a personal experience for you bringing yes. up this topic. Yeah, What's actually, going on? didn't I mean, you wouldn't even think I, I didn't expect it even to come. But then it was interesting because I'm very emotionally aware. I, I deal with this all the time, and then all of a sudden, my daughter was dealing with it. So I was like, whoa. But I think the the biggest thing is is to recognize that anxiety is a natural response to stress. So it's normal. So us as parents and us as adults need to understand that having anxiety is okay mm -hmm. and good, but you have to learn how to, to use it and move through it better. Because kids might not even know that they're experiencing stress or anxiety. Yeah, and that's what I think is really important for people to realize is that it shows up in kids differently. Mm -hmm. So for Taya, it, it comes in physical symptoms. So even new school and new classes and new friends can be, think about that, still stress. Do you remember the segment we did about good stress versus mm -hmm. bad stress, right? So she gets headaches and stomach pains, okay? So for other kids, sometimes you'll see it in emotional, um, you know, anger, crying out, lashing out. I have a, a friend that has, their son comes home and he just is really irritable. Okay. So it's like he's been building that up all day long. And then you'll also see some avoidance. So they'll say like, I don't want to go to school. I'm too sick to go to school. Or they want to, don't want to go like, to activities as well. So they just want to avoid anything that mm. may bring on those okay. symptoms. Okay. So then what do we what do? What do we do about it? Question. Okay, first you have to check your own stuff, right? Because as parents, we're always going to parent from our memory. So we're going to remember all the times that we had when we were bad or felt bad in school. And then we want to take that away. We're so quick. You know, we've heard about helicopter, lawnmower parents, yeah. and we just take want to take away the anxiety. But instead, you have to think about when you have anxiety, what does your child need? Okay, and then give them tools to move through that. So oftentimes, a, a child is going to want to feel uh, in control. They want to feel comfort. They want to feel... So you, you have to teach them ways to move through. You see on Taya's backpack, she has these little squishies on her mm -hmm. backpack. Yeah, yeah. She has her scrunchie on her wrist. Yep. These are comfort items for her that people don't even realize that she has, right? So she can squeeze her little squishies. She usually wears a necklace of some sort. This is her special water bottle that she can hold. It has stickers on it um, you know and then here's uh, Natasha who does this with their kids you know make today great what can you focus on a lot of times it's conversations when we focus on the anxiety what's wrong mm -hmm. with you what's going on you're just gonna create more of that so instead it's you know what can you focus on that you do know can you ask the questions, but in like a positive way? You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. So actually, this is like, are you happy right now instead of are you sad right or now? Or what's making what makes you happy about school? You but know, what if you want to find out what makes them sad about school? Then which is totally fine. So one of the things that Brad and I have been testing out this this week okay. was when we're like, oh, how was school today? And you're like, F not fine. Yeah. You know what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Brad said the other day, he's like, so what sucked the most about school? Yeah. We got like a list of like five things. It was okay. super funny, but okay. then all of a sudden that opened the door to focus yeah. on the other things. Yeah. And think about that as adults, we're so wired to go negative. So first mm -hmm. we think about, you got to get that out of your head first. And then go, I okay, see a principal in your future. Oh yes, <laughs> we could talk about this forever. <laughs> yep, and one of the things that interested me really quick is um, Natasha's son, Charlie, was talking about how he doesn't, he's like, well, I don't know where my class is and I don't know my new teacher. And then I said, ask him what he does know. And he listed all these things, and it turned out he only didn't know one thing. So then okay. she's like, oh, go to school today and find that one thing. So then all of a sudden it was a scavenger hunt. Oh, yeah. To so make it fun. Hmm. Yeah. Right? So what do you have on your website that's going to so help we have us tips do this? About all this stuff. So if you remember, we have our um, getting through summer, and then we bridge into school. So we have tips of uh, resources about how to not transfer your anxieties, tips and tools to give your kids. Um, so just go on the website and then sign up for the emails. You is the family meeting principle still on there? Yes. Okay. Because yep, I think the family there. meeting is another good one to bring out the mm -hmm. conversation. Yep, that's so. on there too. Okay. Very good. Thanks, Carrie. That website is simplycarrie.com.